What's going on guys? Norwegian Scrubby here, back again with another video. I hope everybody's doing nice and well. You're hearing from me in Norway. I know I didn't upload the last two days, but that's just because, you know, I was hanging out with Ben doing it. And this story actually takes place yesterday, all right? Benji and I managed to get a story time while we were hanging out. Brotherly love. Uh, no Alabama though, no homo. But before we get into that, you're gonna have to press the like button, otherwise I will execute Benji. I know he already doesn't upload enough, but trust me, he will upload a lot less if you don't press the like button. That's actually a promise. And yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So, you know, my boy Ben was trying to show me around Norway uh, in Oslo, the biggest city in Norway. He was like, yo, man, it's sick. And I mean, I was like, all right, bro, let's go. Let's go exploring. I don't see my brother very often. So when we do hang out, we definitely get up to mischief. And as you can tell from our personalities, we uh, definitely like to have a lot of fun, you know? And sometimes that fun gets us in trouble, which is exactly what happened this time. So we were walking around Oslo and he goes, yo, there's this really dope mall. It's inside. And I was freezing because I'm from the West Coast of the United States where it's hot all the time. And Norway is is basically colder than Satan's fridge, all right? Like, Satan's testicles are probably colder than Norway. So whatever, man. I'm like, ah, fine. Anywhere that's inside, okay? Because I don't have coats. I'm wearing, like, a thin-ass bomber jacket. I looked fresh to death. Trust me, every Norwegian cutie was on me, but, uh, you know, I had to go inside. I was trying to warm up a little bit. Drink some hot cocoa, cuddle up with a good cutie. The usual. So we're in the mall walking around, shopping, doing what we gotta do. Benji's blowing through his YouTube money faster than hookers blow through cocaine. And, of course, there's these, like, cars in the mall, because I guess Tesla's huge in Norway. Way. I'd never seen so many Teslas. All around Oslo, there was Teslas everywhere. It was like Elon Musk's breeding ground, okay? Like, when Elon Musk is in Norway, he gets an extra 9,000 power points to his Dragon Ball Z score. So there's Teslas everywhere, and in the mall, there's, like, these Teslas on display, and they have, like, the price in the window, and they're just kind of sitting there for people to walk up and admire, take a look at. I don't know, if you just love to look at random Teslas in the middle of the mall, go for it. And, you know, I'm from America where Teslas are still pretty rare, but Ben's like, yeah, these are everywhere. These are, like, Toyotas in America. I'm like, that's sick. And he goes, yeah, you can drive them, too. They leave the keys inside. And at this point, I'm like, yeah, let's not do this, Ben. I feel like this is a bad idea and he goes no 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 watch walks up to the tesla that's in the middle of the mall and it's like in the middle of a walkway there's people walking past him on both sides he doesn't care he's such a savage he just opens the door it's not locked i don't know why it's not locked hey let's leave a key uh, key in the car in the middle of the mall that's gonna work out well there's definitely not any 15 year old youtubers that are gonna get up to mischief with their brother well that's exactly what happened all right elon i know you get extra power levels in norway but your design flaw is terrible you don't unlock the car for the 15-year-old. Like, Benji was really out here hopping in the whip. Who leaves an unlocked car in the middle of a mall? You're just begging to get kidnapped in the back of a Tesla. So at this point, I'm trying to be, you know, Jiminy Cricket on his shoulder. Hey, Ben, let's not steal a car in the middle of the mall. You're gonna go to jail. I guess Norwegian jail is pretty dope, though. They have, like, Xboxes and stuff, so it's not really prison time, you know? He might actually upload more in prison. I should have let him get arrested now that I'm thinking about it. But whatever, he's just looking at me and laughing. He hops in the Tesla and he goes, oh, they must have taken the keys out. And uh, to Elon, thank you. Thank you for taking the keys out of your car. You still left it unlocked. You forgot to press the little lock button. But uh, you're the only reason there was not a news article talking about local YouTuber actually runs down crowd of Norwegians in the mall on a Tesla because he doesn't know how to drive. Because Ben can't drive. I don't care all the crappy talks on his channel about, oh, I'm good at everything. Ben can't drive. He's terrible at it, all right? Like real talk, homeboy and I were playing Mario Kart and he hit the wall more than he hit the course. I don't even know how that's possible. How it's possible to be bad at Mario Kart, but Benji is awful at it. Regardless, he's in the whip. He's like, I'm gonna honk the horn. And I'm like, look, let's not attract more attention, all right? Like, there's basically a giant thing on the horn saying, let people know you're in the car you're not supposed to be in. And I guess Norwegians really don't mess around with security because he presses the horn and it just goes, Bruh! like, loud as hell. I'm gonna do it one more time just so you guys will understand. Bruh! Like, that's the noise it's making, all right? Over and over and over again, he's just pressing it and pressing it and pressing it, trying to get us in trouble. And I'm freaking out, which is why he's doing it, because he likes to make me nervous, bro. Like, I swear, Benji loves when I freak out, because I'm the responsible one, all right? I'm trying to make sure we're not going to get arrested, and Benji's like, Joe, would be funny, <laughs> So whatever, bro. I'm freaking out. Security starts to pull up. He hops out of the car. So the security starts pulling up and Benji's just laughing his head off and I'm starting to get nervous. I'm trying to apologize. I'm like, look, my brother's dumb. I'm sorry. And they're just kind of looking at me because, um, you know, English isn't the predominant language in Norway. So Benji comes out the cut speaking some Sylvan, bro. Like he could probably talk to snakes. It sounded like Elvish. I swear that entire language sounds made up. It's like the flying Dutchman just like threw some letters together and called it a day. The one from SpongeBob with the green beard, that shit's glowing. It's just speaking Norwegian. Regardless, he starts flicking his tongue around speaking Elvish. I don't even know what language it was. It, it was Norwegian. I'm not being dumb, okay? And uh, they're just kind of looking at him funny because he's sitting in the middle of a Tesla in the middle of the mall honking the horn. And I guess the cops in Norway way aren't called police officers they're called ops like ops so benji hops out of the car looks at me smiles which means he has a bad idea and screams fuck the ops and just starts running away from the tesla 
<laughs> and these cops just look at each other and I like looking at me and I'm not about to get arrested for my brother's stupidity. So I start running after Benji. And you know, the beautiful thing about me and Benji is that, you know, we might have the same dad, but he hasn't finished puberty yet. So my legs are long as hell. My 6'3 flame is flying past him, bro. I've got an extra foot on either leg to just get me an extra boost of speed, you know? So we're booling through the mall. We're going full speed. It's an indoor mall, by the way. The ops or the security guards, I don't really know what they were, are chasing after us, screaming stuff in Norwegian. I'm getting yelled at in Elvish, dude. I'm freaking out. Benji's laughing. And I don't know how many times Benji has run from the security in this mall, but the man is like taking shortcuts, cutting down alleyways. It was impressive. So we get outside and he's just like run and i'm like where and he's like i don't know just run he didn't have a plan he didn't have a backup plan it was just yellow in it out you know might as well uh throw it out for the homies you might as well just run away from the cops in the middle of the norwegian mall so whatever we run away and he's still laughing we're all out of breath and i'm like dude what was that and he looks at me he goes i don't know bro i just really wanted to give you a video for scrubs i've always wanted to be famous in a story time and i'm like are you serious right now he's like yeah 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 you gotta plug me though so i get some subs from it so um you know my brother decided to hop in a tesla that was unlocked run away from the security guards all for a youtube shout out so uh yeah go subscribe to benji if you're not but the story doesn't end there you know like i said we're right outside the mall we're just living lavish we put our hoods on and we start walking down the street to try to get back to like the metro the train to start heading back to where benji's house is and uh we're, we're walking past the mall because the mall's really long so it's like indoor but it's kind of outdoor it's more like a glass dome over the hallway in between the stores that's the way i would describe it as so we're we're walking down this hallway and there's security guards passing by and the radio goes off. And once again, I don't speak Norwegian, but Benji looks at me and he goes, bro, they're looking for two Americans that were being obnoxious in the mall. And they're like giving descriptions of us. I'm like, okay, well, what do we do? And he goes, I don't know, but they're telling the ops to be positioned at the metro stations. Like they're, they're looking for us. I'm like, all right, well, it's your fault for looking so American, dude. You know, they wouldn't have known any better if you would have just uh, not, not been an idiot and screamed, you know, I'm English before we ran away from the security guards. So here we are stranded in the middle of Oslo, the biggest town in Norway without a way to get home. Because if we go to the metro station, they're looking for the two kids that were running around in Oslo mall screaming Tesla, Tesla, Tesla. So Ben goes, no, 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 no. No. This is the only train station that's owned by the mall. That's the only place their security guards would be. It's not like the cop cops. It's like the mall cops. So what we need to do is we need to go to the other train station, uh, which is like a mile away. I'm like, okay, well, it's 30 degrees, bro. I'm freezing. My testicles are actually looking like icicles right now. Like, can we please not walk in the cold? I'd rather get arrested by the mall cops like Paul Blart in this hoe than have to walk across Oslo. And he's like, no, 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 that's not as fun. So we have to walk across Oslo in the middle of the freezing cold. And like I said, I don't own a winter coat. I'm wearing like a thin bomber jacket. It was not a pleasant experience. Regardless, I basically froze. We get home. My nipples could cut diamonds from all the ice out there. And, uh, you know, Ben falls right asleep. No problem. No hesitation. My adrenaline was still pumping because I'm not used to running away from Norwegian security. But I guess Benji is because that's, that's just his daily life. So, yeah, moral of the story is there's a lot of Teslas in Norway. They raise Elon Musk's power level. And uh, Benji is a savage who really just doesn't mind making me run halfway across the middle of Oslo in the freezing cold, actually making my nipples hard as hell. Uh, that's from the cold, not from him. Don't worry, we're brothers. No Alabama, no incest here, all right? So regardless, guys, I hope you're all uh, enjoying the story. My trip to Norway outside of that was really cool. It was a really cool experience. Uh, I just want to thank Benji for being so chill the entire time. I'm jet lagged as hell because, you know, it's like four in the morning when I'm recording this because uh, Norway time and American time just don't match up very well because it's only like uh, 11 p.m. where I'm from. So yeah, regardless, guys, I hope you're having an incredible day. And I hope none of you get anyone pregnant. You guys are all really, really dope. I should be on a plane home sometime Tuesday? What is it? In America, it's sun think. I don't really know. This time zone thing is really messing with my head. Uh, maybe that's why Benji doesn't upload because Norway doesn't actually exist. You know, it's just it's just a weird time zone parallel crossover thing. Regardless, guys, I'll be home sometime this week. I'm probably going to spend the next few hours making story times just because, uh, I don't know, I'm really bored. Ben's asleep and I, I only have a few days left with him. So maybe we'll get some more stories. Maybe I'll get him to come on the channel and tell a story. I don't really know. But whatever happens, guys, I hope you all have an absolutely incredible day. Don't get anyone pregnant if you do make sure they're hot and i'm just really gonna talk about my ak-47 here it's a really good looking one you know the surf gameplay really is a1 pristine quality uh thank you benji's computer for letting me record it his computer is a little bit better than mine but it's all right and um i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna say some cool stuff in norwegian now that ben has taught me actually i'll do one better bro i i will i will wait to upload this video until tomorrow uh, at a good american time instead of in the middle of the night and uh when ben wakes up i'll ask him what he was thinking when he hopped in the tesla i'll do that so, uh, Ben, the people want to know, 
Why did you hop in the Tesla? <laughs> dude, I, like I said, dude, I just wanted a shout out, really. So everybody go subscribe to YouTube.com. What's, <laughs> what's your URL, dude? Uh, it's YouTube.com, like, and some numbers, uh, RD Benji. Just look up RD Benji. You'll find me. Subscribe. Right. Come on. And, uh, you fuck with Teslas. Did, Next time it's a Toyota, for sure. Do you have anything to say to the people of Norway? Uh, no. Don't hop into Teslas and honk the horn. Thank you. All right. Goodbye, everyone.